so from the uh, you said about the destruction you get due to pollution i would get on to the space turbines space turbines is something i think the astronomers and astrophotographers hate the most so what is your take on that so definitely it is a huge point of concern at this moment and uh, let me tell you about uh, space debris and anything that's out there in space it's actually ruining the night skies for everyone and uh, the satellites you know if you are out at a dark location you can see hundreds of satellites moving over your head in one or two nights like every one hour i could i can easily spot five to six satellites going over my head and again that is not a very you know uh, good thing if you talk about it uh there's a video out there which you know our uh, people can see which tells you the space debris advancements in the last 30 years it actually tells you how you know we mm-hmm. had only around 40 or 50 objects out there a few years ago around our planet but nowadays they are in you know hundreds of thousands so the hundreds of thousands of objects it's a very very huge number it's kind of it has formed a complete web over our own planet and uh, let me tell you another one such project is the starlink project by spacex so elon musk and spacex they actually planned to put up uh, they they're actually uh, already going ahead with that they're putting up 50000 satellites out there to provide a global internet connectivity right. and uh, 550000 satellites is a very very huge number isn't it and they're all part of the same nexus so uh, there are things you know people started spotting these starlink trains because they were sets of 10 or 15 satellites moving together in a line which is you know rotating uh, which is i'm sorry which is revolving around our planet so these you know satellites again if you think about it if i'm clicking an astro photograph if i have 10 satellites moving in a line through my astro photograph it ruins all of it isn't it 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 feels like someone took a scale and a pencil and they put 10 lines in my image or it looks like something i've done in paint deliberately so that of course it kind of ruins an experience for astro photographers and about astronomers also space debris is a huge concern because the number of satellites at this moment we are increasing the frequency of satellites that that, that we are putting into orbit isn't it with the increasing number it's always a risk that you know uh, we are putting out there and uh, recently uh, in the month of february or march i think in the month of march uh, there was a part of a you know chinese rocket which basically went on and collided with the moon and uh, there have been yeah. certain situations where yeah. half of the space debris it was unplanned but it is still out there and we are still working on a way to bring it out bring it back or to you know remove it from the sky and remove it from revolving around our planet now less that was a small part of a chinese spacecraft which collided with the moon let's just say in case that was a bigger part that would have caused a couple of earthquakes on the surface of moon and we are putting everything into the danger with the space debris and of course people are working on various projects one such projects even a couple of my you know batchmates they've been working on the same project right now to remove space debris and they've been formulating ways to bring down the parts uh, most of the parts that we know of that formulate the space debris they are metallic parts but some of them are even ceramic parts so it's again it's a huge question on how do you bring in ceramic parts back to the you know planet how do you dump them where do you bring them so yes it is a huge huge concern and uh, i'm really hopeful the way things are going in the last 3 to 4 years there have been many many research papers coming up on space debris and i'm sure in the next 5 to 6 years something would turn into practicality and we'll be able to you know work on the space debris part and basically reduce that and that is very very important at this given moment of time